Sam Bonamici and I'm honored to represent the 1st Congressional District in Oregon. Technology and innovation are really critical to our future, to our economy, and when we have conversations about educating the workforce of today for the jobs of tomorrow, both of those topics come up. So making sure that we are investing in research and development is really important and making sure that we are educating students today to be innovative and creative for the jobs of the 21st century. We need to make sure that students today, as, as they're going through K-12 education and higher education, have the skills they need to work in the jobs of tomorrow. Some of those jobs, we don't even know what they are yet. So making sure that students have critical thinking skills and, and flexible thinking skills, and importantly, communication skills are all very important. I serve on the Science Committee and the Education Committee, and we had freak, had frequent conversations about the importance of science, technology, engineering, and math. Very important for uh, our workforce, for uh, our future. Then I would get out into the real world and speak with employers. And in the district I represent, there's a lot of technology employers, there's a lot of tech companies. And what I would hear, not just from tech businesses, but from employers in many different sectors is, we want people in our workforce who can come up with new ideas, who can work together on a team, who can come up with new ways to solve problems. But nobody was talking about how we educate people to be creative and innovative and collaborative and communicative. So that's where STEAM comes about, um, integrating the arts and design into science, technology, engineering, and math. I grew up um, with a lot of arts in my life. Uh, my mom was a piano teacher and a painter, and, and I learned a lot when she would take us to museums uh, and look at, look at art and look at panels. But if you look way back in history, if you study people like Leonardo da Vinci, for example, he was, I think, <laughs> one of the first examples of being a scientist and an artist. And so as I got into a policy-making position, I realized the importance of well-rounded education, that we need people with all of the skills as well. And if people are just learning technical skills but without the ability to communicate them or without the ability uh, to, to think outside of the box, for example, um, they won't be able to advance as far as people who have all of those skills. So it's the importance of well-rounded education. equity issues, especially in our public education system. In fact, a lot of the federal laws in uh, higher education and in public education came about in the civil rights era. So making sure that those opportunities are there for all students, regardless of their background, their zip code, who they are, where they live, or their parents' income. That's a challenge as well because there's a tremendous amount of potential in our students and we need to make sure that they can all reach that potential. The Congressional App Challenge is a great new addition to the Congressional Art Competition. So the Congressional Art Competition started many years ago. Students from every Congressional District, all 435 typically participate, are invited to submit artwork. Uh, and then panels of judges judge those and the artwork hangs in display in the Capitol for a year. It's a great program that re recognizes the artistic talents of our high school students around the country. We have now, several years ago, added the app challenge where students develop apps and then they submit uh, their app and they also need to be able to communicate it. So again, the app challenge involves creativity because students come up with the ideas, they develop the app, they submit their code and their project, and then we have a winner from each district uh, that is recognized for uh, their contribution. And, and I've seen some wonderfully creative things from the students in, in the district I represent.
technology responsibly used can help us in so many ways. Um, I serve on the Select Committee on the Climate Crisis. There's so much potential for technology to help us develop a transition to a clean energy economy. Technology is helping with healthcare, with genome sequencing, and, and the, we think about all the differences that technology has made in our lives today. It can only get better with the inventions of the future.